12 Stoic Principles Smart Men Should Embrace in Relationships Ancient Wisdom for Modern Love Where we explore the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and its practical applications in our daily lives. We're diving into the realm of relationships and unveiling the 12 principles that smart men should embrace according to Stoic philosophy. If you're excited to harness the power of ancient wisdom in your love life, whether you're single, dating, or in a long-term partnership, these 12 Stoic principles will help you cultivate stronger, more authentic connections. So, if you're ready to cultivate a mindset that stands the test of time in matters of the heart, if you're excited to harness the power of Stoicism in your relationships, let's embark on this journey together as we explore the 12 things smart men should not do with women through the lens of Stoic wisdom. Number one, guard your past. Sharing every detail of your past, especially the challenging parts, is akin to revealing every secret and hardship you've faced. Nietzsche's insight that old ideas may come back to challenge us highlights the potential risks of revealing too much. Keep your past personal and protected. Share only what is necessary. Guard the main parts of your story that make you resilient. Your life story is yours alone and not for others to exploit or judge. Imagine your life as a book. While it's tempting to share every chapter, Stoicism teaches us the value of privacy. As Friedrich Nietzsche said, old ideas can sometimes use new buildings. Protect your past, sharing only what truly matters. Your story is precious, treat it that way. Number two, face the fear of being alone. Aristotle's insight that knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom underscores the importance of facing the fear of being alone. Choices made out of fear, especially the fear of solitude, can lead you astray. Being alone does not equate to loneliness. Spend time appreciating your own company. When you do choose to be with someone, let it be because they add value to your life, not because you fear being without them. Fear of being alone often leads to poor choices in relationships. But as Aristotle wisely noted, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Learn to enjoy your own company. When you do choose a partner, it should be because they enhance your life, not because you fear solitude. Number three, Seneca once said, It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Don't throw your precious hours into a relationship void. Instead, invest your time in activities that bring joy, foster growth, and nourish your soul. A fulfilling life attracts fulfilling relationships. Manage your time wisely. Seneca's observation that it's not that our lives are short but that we waste too much of it rings true. Don't throw your time into a void by overly focusing on someone else. Take back your time for it belongs to you, not them. Establish a balance and use your time judiciously on activities that bring you happiness, foster personal growth, and satisfy your soul. Your time is a precious resource, so don't squander it on someone who may not appreciate its value. Number four, celebrate your achievements. Epictetus's teaching that we should not just seek admiration from others, but also admire ourselves is a reminder to celebrate our achievements. Don't get so caught up in pleasing others that you forget to recognize your successes. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory worth celebrating. Building self-confidence through acknowledging your progress is essential for a fulfilling life. In the words of Epictetus, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Don't get so caught up in pleasing others that you forget to acknowledge your own progress. Every step forward, no matter how small, is worth celebrating. Number five, safeguard your mental health. Hurting your mental health for someone else is like burning your house down to keep them warm, harmful and senseless. Your mental health and happiness should never be compromised for the sake of others. Reclaim control, protect your peace fiercely, and strengthen your mental toughness. Don't let anyone take away your joy. You are in charge of your own mind. Your happiness is not a commodity to be traded away. It's a non-negotiable aspect of your well-being. Compromising your mental well-being for someone else is like setting yourself on fire to keep them warm. 
is harmful and unsustainable. Protect your peace fiercely. Remember, a healthy mind is the foundation of a healthy relationship. Number six, be true to yourself. Albert Camus' wisdom about not worrying too much about others resonates with the Stoic philosophy of being true to oneself. Saying yes to things you dislike is like putting on a suffocating mask to please others. Learn to say no and live your life authentically. Don't act to please others. Instead, be real and honest with yourself. Remember, you are the main character in your life, not a side character in someone else's narrative. Albert Camus' wisdom resonates with Stoic philosophy. The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. Don't wear a mask to please others. Be authentically you. It's the most attractive quality you possess. Number 7, Seneca wisely said, If a man knows not to which port he sails, no wind is favorable. Changing your life solely to match someone else's is like wearing ill-fitting shoes, painful and unnecessary. Stay true to your goals and aspirations. The right person will walk beside you, not redirect your journey. Don't sacrifice your path for others. Seneca wisely remarked that trying to be in too many places means you're really nowhere. Similarly, changing your life solely to match someone else's is akin to wearing shoes that are too tight. It's painful and unnecessary. Each step taken to conform to others' expectations leads you away from your own path, causing you to lose sight of your goals. Embrace your uniqueness and be proud of your own colors. Don't compromise your journey for someone else's. Walk your path confidently, for your life is meant to be an authentic reflection of your aspirations. Number 8. Plato compared people to soil. Some help you grow, others stunt your progress. Don't push away friends and family for a romantic interest. These connections form the bedrock of your support system. Cherish those who've been there through thick and thin. Prioritize relationships with friends and family. Plato's analogy of people being like soil that can either help you grow or impede your growth emphasizes the importance of maintaining connections with friends and family. Pushing them away for someone else's approval is a misguided choice. Reconnect with those who have always supported you, for your friends and family form the solid base of your support system. Don't risk breaking down this support network. Value those who have been instrumental in your growth. Number 9. Marcus Aurelius warned against losing ourselves in others. Like a satellite endlessly circling a planet, fixating too much on someone else can cause your own dreams to fade. Remember, you're the star of your own story. Shine brightly. Avoid obsessive devotion. Marcus Aurelius warned against being overly obsessed with someone as it disrupts your balance and blinds you to your own worth. Like a satellite circling endlessly, Fixating too much on someone else causes your dreams and uniqueness to fade away. Reclaim control. Stop being a shadow living by their rules and start shining like your own sun. Remember, your life is not a side role in someone else's story. You are the star of your own narrative. Don't let anyone dim your shine. Number 10. Don't let emotions control you. Epictetus taught that we should keep our emotions in check and not let them dictate our actions. In relationships, it's easy to let emotions take the driver's seat. Instead, strive for emotional balance and respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. This will help you navigate challenges with a clear mind and maintain a healthy relationship dynamic. Number 11. Avoid comparison. Theodore Roosevelt said, Comparison is the thief of joy. In relationships, comparing yourself or your partner to others can lead to dissatisfaction and resentment. Focus on your unique journey and appreciate the qualities that make your relationship special. Celebrate your individuality and that of your partner without the burden of comparison. Number 12. Don't neglect personal growth. Continuous self-improvement is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. Ensure that you are growing individually even within a relationship. Pursue your passions, set personal goals, and strive to be a better version of yourself every day. A strong relationship is built on the foundation of two whole individuals supporting each other's growth. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey into the realm of Stoicism, where wisdom meets relationships. Remember, embracing Stoic principles isn't about gender-specific rules, but about cultivating a mindset that transcends the challenges we face in all aspects of life. As we explored the 12 things smart men should not do with women through the lens of Stoicism, we hope you found valuable insights on how to navigate relationships with mindfulness and virtue. Friends, 12 Stoic Principles to Guide You Towards Healthier, More Fulfilling Relationships Remember, this wisdom transcends gender and applies to all forms of human connection. If you enjoyed this exploration of Stoicism and relationships, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content that enriches the mind and nourishes the soul. Feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay wise, stay stoic, and continue your journey towards a life of purpose and tranquility. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What stoic principle resonates most with you? Share in the comments below.